What about that giant creepy worm thing? If it's still alive, I'm getting the hell out of town. Don't worry. If Drax is alive, I got money on that thing being dead. Whoa. He actually did it. Drax! Holy crap! You! You did- That worm was- That was- You came out of it! Like you were inside it, and then you- You came out? That's amazing! You doubted me, Peter Quill? <sighs> now what's wrong, man? You look pretty down for a guy who just defied death. I was merely reflecting on the circumstances. The creature did not give up easily. Our battle raged for hours. I felt... proud. But I think I was happier butchering that hideous worm than when I got revenge on my daughter's killer. How could that be? I cannot find a reason for it. That worm has no importance to me. How can this battle mean more to me than ours against Thanos? Revenge doesn't bring you happiness. It just delays the pain a while. It's about what you want, not what you need. That is incredibly wise. I am not used to hearing such wisdom from you, Peter. In the midst of battle, I felt such exhilaration and nothing else. I spared not a single thought for Kumaria. I think I am afraid that with each passing moment, our memory will continue to disappear. I fear that once I forget, Kamaria will die a second death. These feelings will not stop. I do not know how to proceed. I don't think that's true at all. Your memories of your family will last forever. Kamaria will always be a part of you. That is impossible. She is not a part of me. She is dead! Oh, I am not used to being afraid of anything. Oh, if only I were dead. These feelings would not cause me such distress. No matter how hard I try... Okay, I know you wanted to die. But that kind of attitude, it's not healthy. You need to give up on this ridiculous death wish. Death is the only solace I thought I could find. I was not completely honest with you before. I did wish to protect the Guardians. But part of me hoped that I might see my daughter again in the afterlife. If such a thing does exist, I do not know. But the thought of reuniting with my family... You can't escape that fate forever. Eventually, you will see her. But that doesn't have to be today, Drax. Perhaps it is enough to have something to look forward to. Thank you, my friend. I feel more sure of my path forward. Hey guys, it's all clear. Bring the ship down. Now, let us return to your garbage heap of a ship. The galaxy is counting on us to stop Hala, and I have wasted enough time beside this rotting carcass. Hey, it might be a garbage heap, but it's our garbage heap. <laughs> Most of that garbage is yours, Peter. Expecting any calls today? Star Lord, you must know why I am contacting you. Admit it. Admit what you have done. 
Oh, I get it. You're attracted to me, aren't you? Don't worry. It happens. A lot. Do not be vulgar. You have taken Baldin hostage, and I want him back. I do not know how you did it, but I want him back now. I've had baby Baldin for a while now. It took you long enough to notice. What have you done with Mother! Well, look who it is. Please, Mother. Just do as they ask. What are you planning to do with him? If you harm him in any way, I will repay it one thousandfold to you. Well, that all depends on you. If you don't want anything bad to happen to your son... No one threatens me! I just did. You are the most infuriating person I have ever encountered. I have always heard of the insolence of human beings. But meeting them in person is infinitely worse. I understand now why many have attempted to destroy your planet. Yeah. I get that a lot. I am coming for you. I shall destroy nowhere. Then I will continue to Earth. There will be no home for you to run to. She hung up on me. I can't believe she hung up on me. You're unbelievable, Quill. It seems you possess a unique ability. I've never seen anyone annoy my mother so much before. I fear she cannot be stopped. If you don't stand against her, no one will. Yeah, not gonna lie. That conversation could have gone better. You think? If she's coming from nowhere, we've gotta hustle. Keep the engine running. I'll be back soon. Don't you think Gam's gonna be a little pissed at you? And what are you gonna say? Meh. I'm sure I'll think of something in the moment. Word of advice, Pete? Think harder. Gamora? You've got some nerve. Following me here, of all places. I told you I was done. I'm not in a very charitable mood, Peter. Leave. Or I'll make you leave. Or are you here to fight? <laughs> I won't go easy on you. Oh, come on. You wouldn't hurt me. Oh, really? Ah! Whoa! You said you'd keep everyone together! Hala is more powerful than ever. Drax is dead! Drax isn't dead! What? <sighs> Why didn't you open with that? Drax is alive? And you didn't bother mentioning it before? I was working up to it! Work up to it faster next time. He was devoured by that thing. You said he was gone. I thought he was. But he's not! He killed that space worm and is now hanging on the Milano with everyone else. Drax is back to his, well, his, uh, his normal self. Ah! What? Ah, I just don't get it. Why does everything just work out for you? No matter what you do, everything just conveniently works out for the great Star-Lord. You call this working out? The Guardians are scattered, Drax nearly got eaten, you almost killed me two seconds ago. Oh, and Hall is out to destroy the galaxy because of me. But despite that, we're all unscathed. So Drax happened to survive, but you told him to sacrifice himself, knowing full well that it could kill him. Can't you even pretend to be bothered by that? Show me something. Anything! At least some semblance of remorse. I gave Drax what he wanted. He asked me to let him go. It wasn't easy for me, but I'd do it again. 
How can you possibly say that? You shrug through everything, free of consequence, while I... I feel punished for merely existing. I've done so many horrible things. I fought. I tortured a little girl. All because I was too scared to stand up to Thanos. And now, my sister is dead. I'll never be able to forgive myself. You made a mistake coming back, Peter. I can't help anyone. It's not too late to save Nebula. We don't give up on our own. The Forge is still out there. We can bring her back. <sighs> it feels like too much to ask for yet another chance. But maybe this time, I can finally atone for what I've done. I close my eyes at night, and I'm right back here. I'm that frightened girl, unsure of what or who to trust. I want nothing more than that pain to be over. You have to forgive yourself, Gamora. It's the only way you can move forward. Right. You're right. 